Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Carts here. Just wanted to make another video about the Trinity set. It is on sale this month, February 2021, entire month. Uh, this is the Trinity set, head, cam, and carburetor. Uh, this will fit GX200, Predator 212, Tillotson blocks, all the way up to, you know, any of the GX200 clones, Predators, any of those. Um, head, cam, and carb, this is a great deal. Um, you know, it's about a $1,200 value if you buy each part separately. Um, we normally have this listed for $9.99, and this is uh, that price that you guys have been requesting it since the first time it went on sale uh, back in last October, almost a year ago. Um, and we're at $7.99 again on the price. Um, you know, already uh, been completely swamped with these. Um, you know, a couple of them coming in a day. I, I love it. It's great. Um, might have to end the sale a little early uh, if it gets too out of hand. Um, but uh, we got the, the 399 head. Um, 3228. Uh, this actually has the $100 added welded intake tube on it. And the optional uh, epoxy port check out the ports um, comes with the valve springs retainers and the uh, and the Trinity set it actually comes with the uh, dual springs and titanium retainers that's a $50 upgrade on the 399 head uh, comes with the PK RPM 3 camshaft and the uh, 28 millimeter uh, carburetor with third circuit billet external adjustable fuel valve um, and uh, you can get this carb in gas or methanol. Um, this is a great carburetor. It comes with velocity stack. Um, this carb we have uh, pretty much, you know, lined up. If you guys are running methanol and you guys need just like that absolute power, uh, this Trinity set. Oh, another great deal that's built into the Trinity set is the uh, gauge black venom rockers that are like two nineteen. If you buy them at the same time you buy the Trinity set, they're only I believe like $190, which is basically at cost. Um, so that, that's just another little sweet thing that we throw in for these. That way you can get everything you need right there in one, one click, one listing. Um, you know, uh, 3228 head, polished chamber, radius, radius valve reliefs. This is not a Hemi head. A lot of people say, is that a Hemi head? It's not a Hemi head. Let me take the valves out again. Um, not a Hemi head, it just has the uh, radius valve chamber release cut into it um, to unshroud the valves on the sides. If you could see, if I put this valve in, you see how close that is to the side there? Well, without that radius relief cut, it would, it would literally be sliding along the side of the chamber. So that cut is done to, to pull the chamber away from the edge of the valve to allow more flow around the valve. Picks up good numbers on the flow bench. Um, all these heads, speaking of flow bench, are built to the math. So when you buy this set, uh, an option that you guys can do is to send me an email um, and with your bore and stroke, and we'll tailor these right to your uh, specific build. Um, nothing, you know, you, you can't be perfect. And, uh, you know, when you build them by the math, they're perfect. All the heads do have the uh, 3228 seats that we... Uh, uh, now put out um, they are non-touching in the center there are two st complete standalone seats I don't know if you guys are aware of this but um, up until the fact that we oh actually have a head sitting right here that you can see see how there are two complete seats well before in the 3228 heads um, the old style seats and the ones that everybody else still has, they intersect. So you had to grind the seats in the center and make thin spots on both seats, which would distort them. Everybody says you can't run them on gas and, you know, recommend methanol. Well, this head can be run on gas or methanol. It's just bulletproof now. Um, two solid, complete seats, not either one ground on. Another cool feature that we have here at Pulse Carts is uh, the custom bronze guides with the little head on them. See how that head is sitting down on top of the boss? Well, that prevents it from falling through. This guide physically cannot fall through. Also, the spring pockets are cut. Um, 
we always take and we'll mill the head, you know, just one two thou until it fully cleans up because uh, I've found four, four to six thousandths off on some of the factory castings as they come right out of the factory. So I trust my mill. Uh, I set it up every week. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a true zero. Um, so uh, the PK RPM3 camshaft, a lot of research um, went into that. Um, you know, my background is from, uh, you know, just doing these for life. And uh, last 10, maybe 12 years, I keep saying 10 years, uh, I've been doing uh, small engine competitions. Um, so over those 10 years, we've grown the amount of camshafts we have in stock. Um, also being a dealer, we have a large amount of camshafts in stock. So uh, we did a lot of testing with that to find out what is the truly the best cam. Everybody, you know, see, if you ask them, they'll have their favorite, this one, that one. Well, what is the best? Um, so we wanted to really know. So uh, we tested all the cams on our setup. We used this head, this carb, that cam. And that was the setup we could find that was the best. We tested this head and this carb on a 72 millimeter bore and we ran every camshaft through it. We were looking for the, the best average amount of power, um, which, you know, weren't specifically looking for a peak horsepower number because those cams are usually very peaky and they don't make any power. So they're taking a lot, you know, out of the bottom end to just kind of get that one number. Uh, this cam had the best number overall, best looking graph, made the most amount of power when we added you know how much it made at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 RPM all the way to the top. Uh, we took that number in between each one, wrote it down, and basically totaled that up for each one of the camshafts. The camshaft with the highest number means it had the most amount of power for the most amount of time. This camshaft had that power. Um, a lot of research behind that cam. Great cam. PK RPM 3 cam. If you just need a cam, that's the cam to get. This carb, you know, when it comes to carbs, if the carb can hold. You know, if it's on gas, 14, you know, 2 is Stico. But, you know, if you're talking like 13, 8, if, if you can hold that fuel curve perfectly for the entire RPM range, it's a great carb. This carb can do that. You can do that on gas and methanol. Um, we have the setup for both. Uh, again, uh, you select gas or methanol, whichever one you want. It does come with this cool third circuit billet adjustable fuel valve, so you don't have to get in there and jet it. Uh, you could just basically turn that the way we reworked it um, with some uh, tubing, etc., inside and out. Um, you can basically, that is like a valve, an adjustable jet. So uh, you need a little bit more fuel, open the valve. You need a little bit less, close it up. Uh, it does have jets in the carb, so you can change them to fine tune them if you have to. Again, these are, we, we have them close, but, you know, uh, you know different you know, you, you could be in a different uh, altitude where you are, uh, different time of year. Um, so they're close. They're not perfect. If you have come into problems with the carb, you need a little help, uh, give us a buzz. We can always uh, shoot you, uh, help you troubleshoot that. Um, back to the head. Um, this actually comes with the epoxy port, polished chamber. You can see this thing. It's like a mirror. Um, you can see that, that shine. It's just crazy. Um, bronze guides, uh, reamed at home, the... Uh, Intake guide is actually, we even take it one step further and spiral shape it. I'll give you a look down the port. Just phenomenal. Uh, the, with the even texture, uh, it, it's perfectly straight walls. There's no waves. Uh, we actually do the, uh, the, the bowl of the uh, intake port now on the mill. Uh, so we have a 60 degree ball mill uh, that we had actually specially made to that exact size and shape that we wanted so we could duplicate it every time. Precision, repeatable, duplicatable results. Um, and we run that in the bottom of that bowl on the mill to get it perfectly radius in the back there the way we want it. And then, uh, you know, we come through and we just clean it up uh, with some uh, sand rolls, give it a little rough up. Uh, if we're doing epoxy, we'll apply the epoxy. We use a special epoxy. We don't use JB Weld. Uh, I've had some questions on Facebook about that. One guy actually, not some questions, but one guy just recently asked me, great question. Um, he says, does the epoxy chip? Well, um, in the first two years when we were offering the epoxy port, we were reaching out to every customer that had it and asking them, hey, how's the epoxy holding up? A bunch of heads came back. They all look great. There was two heads that we heard that had some chipping in and around the seat where the seat comes in contact so uh or, or there was uh where we um welded on the tube there was one that flaked there and one that flaked here we heard about so we actually said you know two you know 
two out of, you know, I, I think we do close to a hundred heads a year. Uh, I'm sorry, a thousand heads a year. Um, so two out of maybe 2000 heads is enough for us to say, wait a minute, we can make this better. So we went out, we talked to Goodson, we ended up getting some actual intake port epoxy, and that's what we use. If you guys need that, you can pick that up at Goodson, it's a great material. Um, you know, as long as you follow directions, prep it perfectly, we've never had a problem with it. That stuff is actually harder than the port itself. Once you put that on, if you were to have a little bit of epoxy and then a little bit of aluminum and you started grinding on it with a sand roll, uh, the aluminum would dig down faster than the epoxy. The epoxy is harder than the aluminum. Uh, so it's a great product. Um, the way we apply it's actually uh, a little trick of ours. I'm not going to give out that information, but uh, these are some fantastic heads. Again, we build them all by the math, so uh, I, I, I urge you guys. They do come with the valves, uh, dual coil springs, uh, titanium retainers, and keepers. And like I said, they we offer that uh, the uh, if you buy the black venom gauge rockers while you're buying the Trinity set. Uh, we give them at cost for uh, 190 down from 219 so the savings all in. Uh, get this now. Get it at paulscarts.com. The Trinity set, $7.99 on sale for the month of February 2021. You can get it at, uh, let me give you the, the, the information so I can write it on the screen. You can get it at the website, paulscarts.com. That's carts with a K, paulscarts.com. Um, when you're on the website, you can contact us through the website. Say if you bought this head and you wanted to send us your info so we could staple it to your build sheet so it'll be built by the math. That's truly optional. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Some people just don't want to be bothered with that, which is fine. Um, but uh, if you do want to do it, there's a little contact us button. There's a contact us button on the website through, through website contact, contact us button. That'll basically send us an email directly. You can put your boring stroke. If you have any questions to ask, it's a great way to do it. Another way you could do if you want to email us directly, you can email us directly at paulscarts at gmail.com. Again, the email address is paulscarts at gmail.com. That'll give us a direct email, a uh, direct line right to us. One of the better ways of getting in touch with us is emails. We respond to the emails uh, Monday through Friday, usually in the evening is when I get around to getting back to those. Um, uh, if you need to call or text, preferably text. Uh, I've been doing horrible with the calls lately, just been super slammed. Um, you know, I'll try to answer it if I see the phone, but I keep it on vibrate uh, just because it's just always going off, just nonstop. So if I, if I do get a call, um, usually my hands full of grease or grime and I'm on the mill and I'm sweating and I'm like aggravated. So it's just a lot better for me and the customer's like safety and sanity and everything for text that way when I'm, you know, clean hands, not sweating, not endangering myself by something spinning in front of my face trying to talk on the phone. Uh, it's a lot better. So call or text. The text uh, or call number is 781-492-7358. Again, I'll give that number again, 781 four nine two seven three five eight text or call so uh this is uh the trinity set on sale month of uh, february 2021 799 an amazing deal usually around 1200 dollar value um you know this is backed by popular demand um i did it once uh as race season was ending because you know guys usually get right into that stuff right whenever and this is uh for the guys that are getting right into race season this year i don't know if you guys have heard of us but paul's carts we make some of the best products i am two to my own hold there because i know how much you know actual research and you know time i spend just finding the right stuff to put into these things and talking with customers and finding out what works and putting that time in finding the right cam you know dynoin you know for the cam dynoin you know doing the work on the flow bench with the heads and the ports building them by the math like who does that i do that so uh just wanted to get that name out there to you guys if you haven't heard about paul's carts you know i don't know what's going on in your neighborhood but anybody that's at the track that's up in the top of the pack they're racing paul's cart stuff so i'm paul this is paul's carts hope you guys like the products uh check them out online and until next time, guys, have a nice day.